Hello everyone, welcome back to a very exciting video. This is going to be kind of a first for me on my channel since I don't normally do unboxings, but this will probably be a regular thing from now on. This is the, the probably the second biggest uh, Christmas gift I got um, other than my electric bird scooter, which I'll be reviewing very soon. Also, I'm going to be doing a Christmas haul very, very soon. But uh, yeah, this is going to be my unboxing of 75292, the Razor Crest from The Mandalorian. And this is a very recent set, came out in September of this year, and it was available for, available for pre order, I think back in March or April. And it's amazing. I'm so excited to have this. I didn't think I would get it. It was a big set. It is a big set. My last big set I got was the Slave One 20th Anniversary Edition. So that's, uh, I have some experience with some bigger sets. And um, I also got the Imperial Star Destroyer from 2014. So I have some experience. Anyway, uh, this is going to be an unboxing. I'm not going to be building it in this video. I'm just going to be doing an unboxing. It will be kind of a shorter video. But uh, let me give you the details. It's for ages 10 and up, which no one really cares about that because it's just a suggestion. 75292, the Razor Crest. And something else um, interesting is that uh, this set is actually being renamed in different countries. So in Germany, New Zealand, Austria, uh, you know, Russia, different countries of the world that aren't, you know, in the U.S. The set is actually being named the Bounty Hunter Transport because there's like a copyright issue with like a, I think a Lego, I think a Lego guy that does mocks and something like that. And he has the rights to the Razor Crest, which in the U.S. it doesn't matter because, you know, we have the, um, Lucasfilm has the rights to it. But anyway, this one's called the Razor Crest because I live in the U.S. So that's why I get this box. This has 1,023 pieces, which is a pretty hefty, uh, set. You can... You know, when I lift the box, it's really heavy, like on the bottom especially. It's got a lot of pieces. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into this. I'll show you the box really quick. We've got the Razor Crest here flying through space. I believe it's Navarro. Could be wrong on that. We also got the Mandalorian on the Lego Mandalorian on the right top right corner there. Got the newer box art. It's a 2020 set, by the way. You get five minifigs. It gets you up close and personal with them. You get uh, Baby Yoda. You get the Mandalorian, you get Grief Karga, IG-11, and an Imperial Scout Trooper. If we turn, if we uh, look on the top of the box, you can see the Mandalorian there. If I can, uh, you know, just bring you here, you can see that there, the Mandalorian there. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because uh, the box is so big that it doesn't even fit in the frame. So I had to uh, adjust the table, get some stuff uh, out of the way. Here's the back of the box. Shows uh, the Razor Crest in its landed mode on Navarro. A couple of figures there battling. You might notice this. This says, play it in Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Find the secret code to unlock this ship. So this is a new video game coming out in 2020, 2021 or 2022. And you can find the code inside. Lego.com slash Star Wars. You can see a bunch of the features of the set. You can see it opens up completely. And you've got the spring-loaded shooters up here. You've got the... Uh, you got a storage bay on one side to store those bolts. You've got a couple carbonite characters here and here. You also got the Mandalorian's bedroom on this side. You've also got an escape pod on the top, and you have the storage for some more weapons on the in the cockpit. You can see Mando there with the little baby Yoda, and that's the back of the box. And uh, let's get to unboxing this, shall we? Let me kind of put this over here. Just make sure that you can see it. I gotta pan all the way back for this. And I got my knife here. This is my grandpa's old knife. Please be careful if you're younger, if you're any age, just be careful when you open things. Because I was very careful with opening this blade because this is an older knife. And I just wanted to let you know about that. But uh, let me check something really quick. Let me check the Slave One box, hold on. Let me get it. I just wanna make sure of something uh hold on let me get the slave one box so i can see where i opened it so it's on this side okay i would just um it's this side okay i wanted to open it from a different from a specific side so can you see that hopefully you can 
Um, just want to uh, put this here so I can kind of get the angle there. Hopefully you can see that. I'll cut the tape. Uh, let me just check one more time. Yeah, it's this side. Okay. Now I got this knife here. Just be very careful when cutting Lego boxes. And uh, yeah, just be very careful. Got this side. And this side. I'm not sure if my parents paid full price for this. This was a Christmas gift. It was a surprise. And, you know, it's on Amazon. It's an Amazon exclusive set. Kind of open this up. Wow. You can see that already. Kind of angle this back and just dump all the P. Well, I might as well just take the first bag out. Bag number two. Okay, we got bag two. All right, let's just dump the rest of this out, shall we? Oh, uh, you know what? Let me take the manual out. Oh. Look at that, it's perfectly straight. Thank you, Lego. And let's dump the rest of this out. All right, that's all the parts. Let me put this box in the background because we don't need it to see it anymore. But look at all this. Um, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. The audio was kind of weird for a minute. Um, this is a lot. Let's see if we can organize this. Here's the manual. We got bag two. Uh, we got bag four. Let's put that bag six. Bag six. Two bag sixes. Put that right here. Bag four. What is this bag? Bag number one. Bag two. Four. Five. Three. I don't know if you can see that. If I can kind of... Let me adjust something here really quickly here. There we go. So we can take this out. And now we can go farther up so you can actually see what I'm doing. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. You might be able to see now. Got my little Darth Vader cup here. Um, You know what? Let's make it... So let's let's get the manual. Number six. Number six. So two back sixes, one back five, two back fours, three, two, one, four, and four. So all together we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three, six, seven, eight. Yep, eight bags and uh, an instruction manual. Let's take a look at this instruction, shall we? Looks pretty nice. Let me. Open this up here. Get the uh, get the knife here. Again, be very careful with the knives because they are a bit dangerous. Let's cut that and uh, put that away. Rip open. Check this out. Let's see what this manual is all about. Oh, well. now of course I've seen reviews of this set. I know. I've seen my unboxings and stuff. Look at this sticker sheet. Wow. This is big. You can see all the different stickers here. We got some for, uh, let me get the pink stick. We got some for Mando's bedroom here. I don't know exactly what these are, but I'm sure they're accurate. Got all these different exterior stickers, battle damage. Got these massive engine detail stickers. That's going to be fun. And we got these two carbonite stickers. We got that one, which I'm pretty sure that's the mithril from episode one. And we got that guy who I don't know exactly who that is, but I'm pretty sure he was in the first episode. That's the sticker sheet. Pretty awesome. Let's take a look at the manual here. Oh, it's glorious. Let me get that paper out of the way. Look at this manual. Look how thick this is. Wow. Got the QR code at the front, of course. How to use a brick separator. And here's all the steps. As you can see, bag one gives us Mandalorian and Scout Trooper, and you get... Baby Yoda in bag two, IG-11 in bag three, Karga in bag five, and you can see the first two steps are not going to be very interesting, but uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be building um, today. Now that, uh, we've also got Scout Trooper and Mandalorian, this looks pretty nice, let me move at the back, see if there's any uh, interesting things. So this is what the completed model is going to look like, whoops, almost lost the sticker sheet, let me put that over here. Wow, I love the smell of new instruction manuals. And 
Uh, apparently you got the uh, the engines as well. And yeah, looks pretty amazing. I can't wait for this. I've been wanting this set forever, ever since it was announced. And this was actually the set I wanted the most this year after. You know, I know I said I wanted the Grievous Starfighter and the Boba Fett helmet, I still do. And the Joker's Strike Chase. Those three are also on my list, but this one I wanted the most. Just, I wanted the most because I really love Mandalorian. There's an advertisement for the Skywalker Saga video game, and there's some more minifigs. And, uh, wait, let me, let me look at that. Oh, okay, it shows them, yeah. And you've got, uh, the advertisements for the various sets, and, uh, piece count. So, that's the instructions. You get the wind robot, so, that's pretty much the unboxing. I can kind of glaze over all the bags here. There's bag six, the other bag six, bag five, four... We've got another bag four, another bag three, bag two, and bag one. So that's the ins that's the unboxing of the Razor Crest 75292. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please tune in later on today as I build bags one and two live. And uh, I will see you then. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, please take care. Have a wonderful day. This is the way.